it is no surprise that the lovely Miss Allison Orthner is by <laughs> far the guru of photography and our favorite photographer at Canadian Scrapbooker Magazine. Allison is here today to get your photos off your camera. Yeah, absolutely. I think with the onslaught of digital in the last few years, people are snapping their selfies and taking their pictures. They're stuck on their phones, stuck on memory cards, right. stuck on the computer. And I go, there is just so many fun ways to bring our photos off of there and actually enjoy it in our everyday life, whether it's yeah. home decor, scrapbooking, cards, everything. So That's so true. Allison, there is so much fun stuff on this table. I, I don't even know where to start. You get going. Well, like I said, it's just the, what we need to do is get our photos off of our computers, off our cameras, and actually into our scrapbooks. But I even go even beyond that into our homes in different ways. Home decor. And just to enjoy it and have yeah. some fun with it. So um, well, starting with scrapbooking, though, I do have this layout. This is by Bo Bunny. Right. And I captured this great photo of my daughter, and she's laughing in the studio. And I just, I love it. It, it just it's warms my heart. Beautiful. So I wanted to keep it very simple again, so the focus just goes on her. Right. Um, this one as well I again this is Bo Bunny this pattern is Bo paper. Bunny yeah and this whole concept of the passing of time and I actually was able to get my mother who is 84 shh, <laughs> my 17 <laughs> my 17 year old daughter and myself in a three generation photo stunning um, again just totally take the time to do that absolutely take the time to and, do that. and what what's interesting like even the quotes so I'm a hoarder of quotes as well which you'll see in my cards and things um, time is a wonderful way of showing us what really matters yes and you'll be so thankful you have photos like this um, someday they'll be going to be the, the most precious right. thing that you own. So. so you could take this, this can have a home inside your photo album or it could have yeah. a home uh, like you have well, right here. And I do this all over my house. I just get a little easel and I display right. some of my favorite layouts and my latest favorite photos right. all around the house. So it's and so just, easy to do. And you could refresh them all the time. You can yeah. have new home decor, new yeah. art all the time Absolutely. with your beautiful memories. Yeah. And then I had some fun because I always love doing like photo transfers and making canvases and stuff like that. So um, these are two items that I did. <laughs> of your gorgeous son. Of my gorgeous son. And I, I learned, this is my first ever photo transfer and I, I did learn some things. You'll notice that I was so excited I forgot to reverse the image. But, oh um, yeah, look at that. <laughs> I just, I, th I thought maybe you planned that. Yeah, no. And then on this one though, I actually took... Oh, just a second. This is on just a piece of, uh, just a, a piece yeah. of wood. And I just literally oh, ran wow. into my garage, grabbed one. So I will do this again because this is more of an experiment. But right? I love this technique and my brain is going crazy for what All we can do for home do. decor. Yeah. yeah, now I've learned some lessons through that one. Um, this one is literally just a photo that I printed and then I adhered it to this block and then I painted it and put a, a coat of Mod Podge on it and then I used Coordination's cardstock while it was still wet. Oh, I see. When you were explaining to me that you were getting the texture, I wasn't, yes. and now I understand. And if you look closely, it'd be hard for cameras to pick it up, but it you actually shows that it's got some, a canvas look to it. It's exactly. Yeah. Okay, now, Allison, you're gonna come back to our show and you're gonna do these techniques. I would love to, because yeah, yeah I learned so much doing those, so, and they're so fun. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. Um, again, taking your photos, so I've made um, a gift card here, so again using a photo of my son and one yes. of my quotes that I've hoarded that is appropriate for that. Um, here's another one. These, when you put a photo on a card and you give it to somebody, it, it melts my heart. Well, and especially because it's personal, yes. and if you know the person, yes. um, and again, quoting, you know, putting something for a quote down, right. um, I just, I love doing that. You know what, Allison, even if you didn't know the person, I know Kim Gowdy one time, she takes a bunch of pictures and she, and she gets them uh, made, you know, when she was in Nova Scotia, landscape and things like that, mm -hmm. and has those on thank you cards. That's, yeah. that's also uh, a stunning card well, to receive. It's, we have so many amazing photos, and right. again, it's just another way to enjoy it yourself and right. then share it with Along others. Along with a gorgeous quote or, quote or a fun quote, yeah. or, and there's so many quotes. There, quotes. Oh, yeah, I, believe me, my computer is full. And then I like, like to laugh, so I got a picture. <laughs> This is Allison's husband. So, memes are just the big thing right now, especially with the young ones. So I created a few memes um, with the exact same photo of my husband. So um, I don't need Google. My wife knows everything. I, actually, that's, that's truth. Next one. You can't scare me. I live with teenagers. Also truth. Exact same photo. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> truth. And then, <laughs> this is my 
favorites. <laughs> I'm an engineer, so to save time, let's just assume I'm never wrong. <laughs> but in, in all fairness, my husband actually he he's is like, the first I'm not to sure. admit. No, he's the first to admit. <laughs> but and, and to make Lots it like of fun. even like a postcard, right? Right. And then this is a really fun technique. This is one we're going to show you how to do today. Um, this is a photo of a gorgeous little baby that's looking surprised. That is a stunning. And I learned how baby. to do a scratch and reveal. Um, uh, on your own, so you can make a card that you'd scratch and reveal. Okay. So underneath here, if you're giving that to somebody, they, you would be able to scratch it. I'm going to show you super quick how we did that. So for, for a gift, I'm thinking fresh baked cookies, right? Right. I was thinking that would be a really great gift to do. So what you do is you take one part of any dishwashing liquid, okay. two parts of a paint, and you mix it up and it doesn't go dry because of the soap in it, it stays right. a long time. Then you take a white a crayon, crayon. Right? just raid your kids' stuff, and you just color right across. It looks like you're not doing anything, but you're creating a coating of the wax on there. And then you take your paint and you just dip it in your mixture. And I won't do this super well, but you paint we get over the it. idea. Yeah, you, you bet. paint over it. So now, and then it doesn't. It doesn't. It takes a while to dry. It takes a while to dry because it's got the soap in it. Right. But once it's dry, this is what it looks like. Okay. Just a little tip. I use the color of pen that's the same or close to the color of the paint because then you can't get the cheaters <laughs> <laughs> that look through. So now I'll, I can see what's under there. So I'll give you a quarter, oh, and I want. I get to so you get to scratch and win. Okay. So it's what just do like. I get? I bet you it's fresh oh. baked cookies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's but so again, much fun. You can create, and I was saying for Valentine's Day or yes. for birthdays or for any kind of a party that you have to give the kids yes. that kind of a fun oh. card to do. That's totally so fun. Just again, another way of combining something a little crafty with your photos. Um, yeah, get, you know what, Allison? Thank you so much. Get your photos. Mm -hmm off your camera. Yeah. And it's just a, something to, like I said, to the home decor. Home decor. Kind of a Keyword. angle of things, yeah. It's so much fun to have all around your house to have different things that are very meaningful to you. It means a um, lot. Displayed, so. You bet. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Allison.